YouTube, OG Fresh Pack here, bringing you some nice, fresh gameplay of the popular mobile game, Block Fortress. For those of you who don't know what this is, it was developed by a small, small but rising developer called Forsaken Media. Highly recommend them, check out their games, look them up, you know what I'm talking about. But the premise of this game, it's basically a medley of three things. Minecraft, Tower Defense, and First Person Shooter. That sounds all weird, right? Like, how could that work? How could Minecraft be a first person shooter? Well, look at Ace of Spades. That's a perfect example of how Minecraft can be a first person shooter. And Ace of Spades is nothing like this game. I'm just gonna say that right now. So what you do is you choose a mode to start off with. There, there are in total five modes. Survival is basic, basically, you can read the description. Quick start. Sandbox, co-op, and an arena. My personal favorite is survival, because I feel like that's the uh, most challenging of the modes. Because you'll see when we um, when we fight the goblocks, they're pretty unforgiving. So just as a heads up, You see, I see. I have a bunch of games here because I have no life and I play this game a lot. <laughs> but I'm not gonna use one of these games. I'm gonna start up a fresh new world. Let's go ahead and start it in the mountains. I'm gonna go on normal. But if you're new to the game or you like want to get the hang of some of the towers and strategy and stuff like that, I recommend choosing easier just to start off with. I'm gonna go with normal though because I'm experienced with this game. And now you can choose bots. Now, let me do a quick run through of the bots. Standard bot, it's pretty much in the name. Doesn't really excel at anything, but it's not really shitty at anything either. You know, we can defend areas, attack enemies, collect coins, stuff like that. But that's just, this is your bare bones bot. The light bot is very useful at night, because at night, your turrets can only shoot things that are illuminated. So if you put this guy out in the spot where the enemies are going to come from, then the then your turrets can fire on them, which is very nice. But he has a very weak attack. So if you want, if you're more of an aggressive person, do not pick this bot. And for those of you who want to build big bases, this is the bot for you because this bot will repair blocks for free. Because normally it costs one or two minerals to repair a block by 10 HP. But this guy does it for free. So he's like free labor, essentially. And who doesn't like free labor, right? Now, the more aggressive among you, the attacker bot is probably your best choice. He has twin-linked machine guns and rockets. So he can lay down a hail of fire really fast. And he's just a good companion to have around at the worst of times. Future bot. This guy, this little guy, fires armor-piercing plasma rounds at enemies, which are very useful on goblocks such as the elites, or the decoys, or the captains, or the sergeants. And he can teleport. So he's very useful for, like, taking down some of the larger enemies fast, or, you know, collecting coins that are spaced far apart, or stuff like that. Now, support bot. Support bot is basically your best friend in battle because he projects a shield around you that dampens most of the damage that you would normally receive. This guy can save your life in a pinch. So if you, you know, if you're low on health, just pick up the shield bot and then you'll be fine. Bruiser bot. You couldn't hear the noise that he made. He is a big motherfucker. <laughs> what he does is he's melee range only, but... When he does get close, let me just say this. He's like Exodia because the enemies get obliterated. Dogbot. He looks cute, right? Little Minecraft dog. What this guy, what this little buddy does is he digs up resources from extra, from like not, not extra, from other resource nodes that don't have a mineshaft on them. So he's basically like a free mineshaft, which is very nice. 
if you're, you know, building big walls, walls with your minerals or stuff like, or something like that. And finally, we got the sniper bot. This guy fires long-range armor-piercing rounds at special enemies such as the decoy and the generals and all the stuff I said was before. So this guy is nice to have if you want to take out the smaller enemies and not have to worry about the bigger enemies. So this is the one for you if you want to worry more about the masses. Personally, I like to go with Constructor Bot. Not because I like to build big bases, but because my base tends to get wailed on a lot. And I don't want to spend minerals repairing it. So, let's go. Okay, let's see. Barracks, 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 barracks. Here's a good spot. It's right in the middle of three mountains. It's got three resource nodes right there. Boosh. Let's go ahead and go bang, bang. Go ahead and build this wall. Whoops. Machine gun there. Two plasmas. And let's start the wave. Bring on the sirens. So these are your simple melee guys. They, you know, have a sword and shield. They're kind of difficult to kill at first. Just because the starting pistol sucks. Like, you may evolve. So, I'd recommend, if you have access to a better weapon at this point in time, I recommend you. But it's all I got, so I gotta use it. thing about this game is you have you have two equipment bars right you have one for when you're in the build phase and you have one for the action phase and the one right now is I'm using the one in the action phase and right now if I wanted to which I will I could place a machine gun turret right there to kind of dampen the attack keep in mind though I have modded all of my turrets so for you guys, when you start off, you're going to have to place a power block nearby your like so. But I've upgraded my... I've upgraded my power, which is a very nice upgrade. That and the special, which means you don't need a light. That's I'm not here to make you play my I'm not a jackass. Where are Where are they? Okay, that's wave one complete. Let's call this U2 Uno. They're attacking from the same direction, so that normally doesn't happen. So this is the rare occurrence, to use Jeff Ramsey's words. And let's see, what can I do here? I should probably buy myself a better machine, a better gun. I'm gonna buy myself a machine gun. Let's go ahead and place a plasma turret here and here. And let's go. 
Now we start getting new enemy types, like these guys here. Ow! Ow! They're shooting you. We're gonna watch out for these guys, in addition to the melee. They're not, not, honestly not that difficult, but when you get to the later rounds, Well, we'll get to all that later. We'll get to all that later. I'll show you all, I'll show you all of that. I'll call you to mention this. You're trying to, to defend your barracks. Right? Which is why you place them at the end of the game. And if that gets destroyed, you automatically lose. So don't let it get destroyed. And also don't die, because if you die, the game also ends. Those are the two ways you die. Those are the two ways you play. And just to be just to be clear, this is an endless round. There is no end. You can be better than everybody. You can be better than your friends, better than your parents, better than your classmates, but you can't win. Oh, here they are, here they are. Pistol! Oh, we got him. We got him. Nice job. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And I'm gonna call this an episode. So, in the next video, I will show you more of what you can do with just the resources at your disposal. I'll show you how to upgrade the barracks and get better guns, such as the 50 caliber machine gun and the flamethrower, and the electro orb, and all that will be yours next video. Zoji Fresh Pack signing out. Thanks for watching. Peace.